Hey guys, I normally don't do knot videos on my channel, but I found one that I like uh, with a little bit of improvement. I like it. I didn't like it before, but it's the Canadian Jam Knot. Typically what you would do is you would tie a knot in the end of your rope, and this is a knot used to cinch things down like this tool bag onto my uh, bike. You can also use it to uh, cinch things down to the uh, molly webbing on your backpack. If you have molly webbing, it's a great knot uh, for that. Like uh, you can put your tent, like I have the, uh, the molly to assault bag. There's webbing on the bottom for the butt pack. But instead of that, I'll just put a bedroll or something down there and uh, cinch it down with two Canadian jam knots. Only problem with this knot though, is when you do that initial knot, it's very hard to get undone later if you don't want that knot in there. And also when you cinch it down, if you're in a situation where the pack or the bike is jiggling, it will work itself loose. So I just made a couple modifications to eliminate those problems. The first one is to, instead of just making a regular overhand knot, make a slip knot. Then what you do is you take that end with the knot and you make another knot around the other piece of rope. Now you can cinch it down and you don't have to worry about that end not getting so tight that you can't get it undone later if you want to use this cord for some other purpose. But it generally cinches down with, with one hand. This one's kind of slipping on me. There we go. Now that's it. That's the Canadian Jam Knot. But this will work itself loose. So all you have to do to prevent that is come back through with another slip knot. And that'll secure it. And keep it from coming undone. And that's it. Now the other nice thing about this is I have two chunks of paracord that are about five feet in length that I can use for a lot of different purposes if I need to. I don't like to cut my paracord any less than five feet. Um, just because it kind of becomes useless for anything else. But that's it, just a improvised, uh, modified uh, Canadian jam knot. Works real good. I mean, I've got Molly straps with the buckles on them, and they'll work loose on this. So these haven't worked loose at all whatsoever since I put them on there. And why buy a strap when all you need is a, you know, what is that, 50 cents worth of paracord? If that, 10 cents. I can see if I want to get it undone. I just pull that slip knot loose pull that slip knot loose and I can just undo it I've only got one hand there's still a little knot in there but that's a loose knot that will be easily taken out later Let's do it one more time without the narration. I'll get on this side so hopefully it'll be easier for you to see. Just run that rope around what you need to cinch down. And I said I wasn't going to narrate. Overhand slip knot. Tie it around the main line. And you can really crank that down as tight as you want. And then just to secure it so it doesn't come loose on you.
put another slip knot. And then I pull it up high so it doesn't get caught in my bike tire. That's it. Wanna undo it? One. Two. And you can pull that out and you have one loose knot that is easily undone by hand. Now your original piece of paracord is not free for using for whatever other purpose you want. Hi. Hi. Everything okay? Yep, yeah, okay. just tying this down. So like I said guys, I never cared for that Canadian jam knot because that's exactly what it does. It jams up and you can't get that end knot undone. But, and also it will work loose if it's under uh, the vibration of you hiking or riding a bike or carrying a load. Low flying plane. But anyway, just use those two slip knots. It prevents it from working itself loose and it prevents that end knot from getting jammed up on you, making your cord useless. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and support.